In the world of video games, there are world records sought after by speedrunners to complete the games as fast as possible. A recent comment by Drifter 3 mentioned how watching Beta Break is like seeing speedrunners glitch the game. And in a sense, that's exactly what some of these climbers are doing. When video game speedrunners are trying to complete the games as fast as possible, they use what are commonly known as glitches, basically ways to exploit mistakes that game developers overlooked. In today's episode, we're going to look at how one climber found an incredible method of exploiting a mistake that the route setters made and broke the beta. I'm talking about the ingenious Peter Dixon. Now before we get into today's beta break, we first have to talk about the black tape rule again. Now if you haven't seen the first episode of beta break, this would be a great time to pause, go watch it, then come back to this episode. For a quick recap, black tape is used to demarcate areas of climbs that are out of bounds. These areas often are other climbs, the sides of walls or arets, and areas of the wall the route setters don't want climbers to use. Black tape is sometimes used on the tops of walls for various competitions, and the rules differ from competition to competition. Sometimes the competition's rules will flat out state that the tops of the walls are not allowed to be used by competitors, but sometimes they don't state that in the rules. Peter Dixon is an amazing climbing athlete and had just made finals at the 2014 Boulder Rally. During this finals, it was a stacked field with other amazing pro climbers. Problem number three was extremely difficult as it required really good finger strength and body tension for the final moves. Jimmy Webb and Carlo Traversi were the only other tops of this problem. And you can see that the circle of holds were not good and they had to move slowly through it. The last move was a difficult move to the volume, the black triangular prism, and it required a lot of strength. Peter Dixon was able to get the ring of holds on his first attempt, but struggled to find a way to move left to the finish hold. Tricky section here, no problem at all. First one. Incredible to see the difference in the competitors here. Some of these guys just making it look so easy. Machine uh, up on that volume. Incredible power move here. <laughs> he tried for a second attempt and the same result ensued. On his third attempt, Peter Dixon thought about his options and found an amazing beta break. The competition is having to use that uh, burning power. And then Mike on Twitter says Jimmy Webb is from another planet. Kryptonite can't stop him. Hashtag crushing. I have to agree. Nothing has slowed down Jimmy Webb tonight. Peter Cruz in this upper section right now. Peter Dixon. <laughs> Incredible tension from Peter Dixon there. Holds are so bad. Oh no. That you can't do that. <laughs> uh, Dave, what do, you, what do you make of what just? Well, let's just watch Ashima, and then we'll talk about what Peter did there. Ashima. <laughs> Had it. Great effort, but Dave, what, what do you, what just happened there with Peter? Uh, we made a mistake as root setters and didn't tape the top off, so technically he sent the boulder problem. But have to see how that gets scored. I want to go ahead and predict the future of comments. That's cheating. That's not fair. He's ruining the competition. I already know I'm going to get comments like this, and here's what I have to say. This is not cheating. And it's because every athlete had the option to think about this solution and had the option to do it as well, it's completely fair. Listen afterwards Peter Dixon's attempt and hear how the root setters admit their mistake for not taping off a section of the wall. What, do you, what just happened there with Peter? Uh, we made a mistake as root setters and didn't tape the top off, so technically he sent the boulder problem. But in a way, what Peter Dixon does here and what all the athletes I feature in these episodes of Beta Break are doing is teaching us. They teach us how to think outside the box and be creative. It also teaches route setters and event coordinators what is possible so they know what to do for the following competitions. Peter Dixon went on to get second place at this competition and has ticked off V13 and still out there climbing really hard. 
But before I go, I want to leave you with this clip of him at a local competition. And this time, you know, he didn't reach the top of the wall. But instead, he, well, you'll find out. Oh, and as always, keep crushing it. <laughs>